e bo bi gbe ke na mo no na o kanal e bo tutorials i have got my dad blessing if na e ti ko ba na kuzi bo ti ta ai ga mo pa maka na nka abu nkuzi nka abu na isi ogo na obo ni de nko do be ka ni bi do hello welcome to bo tutorials my name is miss blessing is na ti ko ba In today's lesson, we're going to learn about na as a conjunction. This will be our second lesson on the functions of na. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify na as a conjunction when you see it in a sentence. If you're ready, let's begin. Now, when it comes, it comes to the conjugation na. Okay, it functions as and and a complementizer, which is that t h a t. Okay, so let's just start. You're going to get it more. So here we have g na ed. G na ed is combining two nouns together, yam and kokoyam. And if you notice, if you haven't gone through my lesson on noun as an auxiliary verb if you if you i'm going to put the link somewhere so if you go through that lesson you're going to no, notice that in that part how do we know it's acting as an auxiliary verb and not a conjunction is that it is going to have an hyphen here but in this case we do not have an hyphen one minute please we do not have an any any uh a hyphen so here it's working as a conjunction joining two nouns together or two sentences together gina ede yam and coco yam another example oku na miri oku na miri fire and water Okunamiri. Elu na ala. Elu na ala. Heaven and earth. Now, this is just one example of how it it works as a conjunction, but as a complementizer, which is that. Okay. Mama waram na adora. Gara ubo. Noma guaram. Mm. Na adora. Gara ubo. Okay. Noma told me that Adora went to the farm. Right. And this brings us to the end of this short lesson. Don't forget to practice, practice, and practice. For this particular lesson, you can practice more with with uh, reading books and seeing how it's written. Because most times, when we speak it, it's you can't really tell the difference because it's all, it all sounds the same. But when you read books or uh, news or stuff like that, you're going to notice the difference. And again, although it's not this lesson, but in the lesson about auxiliary verbs. In talk, when we are talking, when we are pronouncing, when we are speaking, it actually goes like na, like n with a uh, quotation mark on top. Okay, no a. All right, that's a lesson for another day. Let's not get it confused. Don't forget to practice, practice, and practice. Okay, and don't be shy to ask your questions in the comment section below if you have any questions or suggestions. Till next time, come see the buying.